Ah, good soup. Day five and a half. So I want this to be day five and a half because while I did love the soup yesterday with that French onion soup, I wasn't quite satisfied and want it to be like that hearty beefy flavor. So we're gonna do some short ribs today and some other stuff. So stay tuned for that. So for this, I'm gonna be making, oh fuck, my apron got stuck. I'm gonna be making um, braised beef short ribs. Now I'm gonna be using these fatty guys right here. Not gonna lie, they're kind of pricey. I mean, this was like 22 bucks for three fat pieces. They're kind of pricey, but um, you can also use like maybe some beef round chuck that's like in whole chunks and do the braise with that. So first, first, I'm gonna do some veggies. I don't have carrots. I would usually do like carrot, celery, onion. I'm just gonna do celery, onion, and some, can't open it. And some maitake mushrooms. Obviously, you don't have to go out and get maitake mushrooms for this. It's kind of a fancy ingredient for that. Use whatever mushrooms you got, right? Just gonna cut these guys up real quick. Now, this is a braise, right? So I might just throw out these veggies when I'm done. So I'm gonna leave these onion skins on. These have a lot of flavor. Typically, even with stuff like pho, you leave those, uh, those onion skins on. Just gonna leave these guys on, cut them into just some big chunks. Set that aside, and then the shrooms, same thing, just large chunks, rough chop, whatever. Same thing, set that aside. You guys ever heard of this tool before? It's called a bench scraper. I talk about them like in every video. Uh, it's a very handy tool, check that out. So handy. I recommend getting one of these, they're like five bucks. This is one of my favorite kitchen tools. Okay, <laughs> get yourself a pot like this. I'm just gonna cover the bottom generously with some rice oil. We're gonna get this nice and hot. Then over here, see these fatties? I'm just gonna season them generously with salt and black pepper. And then into the pot. Now right now we wanna have it on high heat because what we wanna do is get some color on this. Okay, once we've got color like this, we set them aside really quick. And we want to make sure that our pan is really, really, really hot. Get all our vegetables and mirepoix. Careful, this oil's hot. Toss it in. Okay, check it out, dude. We've got this color here. Now what I'm gonna do is just add in my ribs again. Toss in some herbs. I've got thyme. Then I got a thing of rosemary. Then this is just some turkey stock I have left over, tossing that in as well. I'm um, tossing in a little more water to cover it. Just wanna cover it to the top, just like that. Season that generously with some salt, some black peppercorn, and a bay. And then I'll just cover this guy, put it on low, and then cook it for around four or five hours. But uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not gonna be lying. I don't have time for that shit. So check it out, I already did it. Here we are. Look at that. So here's our Bruce Lee spoon, and here is our beautiful looking braise. Now you see this is somewhat of a beef stock going on. I also use some turkey and chicken stock in this, so it's a mix of things, but it's gonna be very flavorful. And this is what I'm gonna use for my French onion soup. That's what I'm making here today. So you just wanna cook them until they're tender, falling off the bone. Look at that, look at that jiggle, just like your mom. Just set the ribs aside. Now, what I do is I strain this out. Michael, you wanna hold this for me? Liquid gold right there. I'll put this back on the burner. This is gonna be for good soup day six. You'll see what I do with that. Now, we have this wonderful looking soup. Look at that, holy shit. Oh yeah, that's just like straight beef flavor that mom would make. That is nice. Ah, hot, 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 hot. Take the same pot and we've got the onions from Good Soup day five. Remember I set aside those caramelized onions? Now if you don't have them, just make them. Check out the video from yesterday, day five Good Soup on how to make these caramelized onions. It's very straightforward. As you can see, it also has like that layer of butter. So there's a lot of fat in these onions. Now, these are going in. I'm just gonna warm these up, get them nice and hot and melted. Now, once that's all good and melted, I'm adding in my flour. Move this down to medium heat. Change from Bruce Lee spoon, sorry Bruce Lee, going to wooden spoon. Now we're just gonna keep stirring this guy on low heat. I wanna make it sort of a darker roux than yesterday. Since yesterday was a chicken soup base, today's a beef, I want it to be a little darker. A little scrapey scrape. Get all those little yum yums off the bottom of the pan. If she asks you why your right arm is so pumped, it's it's okay. Just tell her you've been mixing onions all day, you know? Or if he asks you, we're not judging here. We don't judge here. All right, Michael, this is where we're at right now, dude. That's good. Now here's our beef stock, shorty rib stock. 
whatever you want to call it, that goes in. Just give this a little mixy mix, and this should thicken up with our roux. Now you just want to keep stirring it so there's no lumps in there from the roux. You can also use a whisk. That's totally fine. Also, a lot of people complain about using a metal whisk on a pot like this or a metal pot. That's fine too. You won't get any like Alzheimer's or anything like that. You're gonna really have to scrape the shit out of like 10 pans until you get some sort of effect, you know? You trying to give me Alzheimer's? <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. Check it out. It's starting to thicken up. See how that works? Put the roux in and it starts to thicken up. If you want it thicker, you can always add more roux to this, but as this reduces, it'll be fine. This is looking nice, huh? I'm gonna season this to taste, adjusting it with some salt, some black pepper, and some citric acid. Just a touch for some extra brightness. Give that a little taste. Nice, that's good soup right there. Now, get your bowl, put some good soup in there. Hey, if you want a bigger bowl, do a bigger bowl. The tiny bowl's for Michael. He gets the tiny fish bowl. Now, we can put our shorty right in there. And that is shorty right there. This is smoked gouda, by the way. This is what's typical in French onion soup. Tell me when to stop. Never. Never stop. <laughs> Keep the cheese coming. Some gouda cheese all over that guy. This is really, really good for you, by the way. This is soul food. Wholesome soul food. There we have it. This is going right into the oven, on broil, on high. Typically, we put these in what's called a salamander in restaurants. You might know what they are, you might not. It's basically a broiler that's just really big and it's high temp. So we're just gonna recreate that here at home. Into the oven she goes, on high broil. Let that go for around five minutes. Now, I have another thing. It, it's kind of a surprise, if you will, but uh, it's gonna be utilizing my flaky salt, the Pacific Blue, and this is just gonna add like a nice touch to it. So I'm just gonna do, you know, a quarter cup of flake salt in there. And then we're gonna just let this guy rip right now. Just gonna get this ready. Let me know if you're ready for this, Michael. You ready for this action, dude? What we're gonna do is just light this guy up. I've got some hickory in here. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna let this sit in here. Ideally, you would wanna let this sit overnight and then you've got some nice smoky flaky salt. This is gonna be a nice finishing touch on our soup, a little smokiness to that soup. That salt's gonna be high as <laughs> It's gonna be high as <laughs> This is where we're at, Michael. French onion soup with short ribs. It's a gorgeous bowl of soup right there. Which one should I attack? Oh, dude, look at that. Cheese, onions, that looks so good. Mmm, that was really good, holy shit. You have got to try that. It's really hot. Here, try that out. Mmm, what do you think? This is really good. It's so solid, right? That's a good soup right there. All right, now let's try it with this flaky salt, huh? Dude, that's what's up. Touch of that. Yeah, that's nice. Mmm, smash like, subscribe.